All right, this week we're scrapping. Ah, a computer power source. Check it out. It's from a computer. It's a power source. Woo! -hoo. You know what's in a power supply? It's not a power source. Did I call it a power source? I meant to say it's a power supply. This stuff doesn't take long to take apart and worth more. It's always worth your time taking taking this stuff apart. Maybe it's not. If you make $100 an hour, it's not worth your time taking this stuff apart. Because you're not making $100 an hour taking this stuff apart. Okay. There's always another screw. Ten. It's all that dust. Anyway, that's what you get in your computer power supply. You got your aluminum uh, extrusions here. You want to pop them off. Toroidal resisting uh, transducers or transformers, if you don't know what that is. Anyway, there's a bit of copper in here. In fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine CBMs in this, and they'll give you something like 30 cents a pound for these uh, at the scrapyard as a whole unit. Uh, maybe 45 if you leave these attached. Um, you cut the wire off and you get 30 cents a pound for this. It's still it's still you worth you taking it apart. Because the board, the low grade board, you take that and that's 30 cents a pound. You take the aluminum excursion off, that's 50 cents a pound. There's two of them there. You take the toroidal cores off, that's 35 cents a pound. That's 5 cents a pound more than you made off that same amount of weight. And there's, what I say, seven? I just found another two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There's 12 CBMs inside a power source and they're worth more. And the fan, the electrical fan. You can always sell this for more too as well. So anything you cut apart usually, scrapyards don't pay you for it, but if you take it apart, that's what's inside of it I don't know it's always up to you if you uh, if you want to spend your time doing that what is Jack doing I cannot see his hands maybe he's doing something that will get his fingers cut anyway that's usually all I do with those power sources because I don't have a lot of time on my hands these days you get this and you cut off the plugs and then you've got like number one insulated wire you throw it in your number one insulated wire bin and that's you know money you can still sell these too I'm going to put this in the bin that's the wire bin that's the wire bin 